Hi and welcome. This video will be about how trace route works. Trace route is a very popular uh, command line that exists uh, almost in every operating system that supports uh, networking, and in Windows it's called trace rt. And uh, to execute the command, it's very simple. Just trace rt and either an IP address or a domain name. Uh, let's test with www google google.com and uh, if we want we can add uh, some uh, options and this is uh, this one is very useful because we want we don't want to lost uh, time resolving IP addresses back to domain name we can specify minus D and there we go now it will do its magic and uh, it will list all of the uh, routers in the uh, path I won't let execute this uh, command now because what I will do is first uh, launch uh, Wireshark and I will tell it to use my uh, Ethernet adapter with this IP address so start now that uh, Wireshark is working let's uh, execute the same command so there we go now it will uh, do its work and Wireshark will capture what's going on on the wire so let's give it uh, a moment to uh, finish its work and because we have specified the minus D it won't uh, take uh, much time because it won't uh, resolve the uh, IP addresses back to their uh, domain name and there we go it's uh, quick okay and we have I think we will have just 16 or 17 uh, router on the path so there we go it has uh, completed and we have just 16 uh, uh, 15 uh, router in the path because the last uh, the last IP address is the uh, Google's uh, server uh, this one before trace route uh, does uh, uh, its work it must uh, resolve the domain name to an IP address which it has did here so now let's uh, see what Wireshark has captured let me first stop the capture and go up here what we see here is first we see that uh, trace routes it uses just the ordinary ICMP uh, protocol and it uses uh, the uh, ping uh, requests so here we see uh, three ping uh, requests uh, sorry four uh, ping requests then there was a, a reply uh, with a time to leave exceeded okay let me explain what's going on here so so I need to see the details. So let's select the first uh, packet and go to Internet uh, Protocol Details. So if I go here, we see this um, very important uh, field, which is time to leave. So the first packet has a time to leave of one. Basically, what is a time to leave? When a packet goes uh, on the Internet, when uh, a router receives a, a packet, it must decrement this time to leave uh, by one before sending it uh, through one of its interfaces and if a router decrement this time to leave and it gets a zero basically it will receive a time to leave of one then decrement that to zero it will uh, generate an ICMP time exceeded uh, packet then send it to the uh, client uh, to tell him that uh, this packet can't go uh, further because it has uh, it has not uh, the time to leave to go uh, through many hopes to reach the destination okay so if we can see that the three uh, first packets have a time to leave of one but the fourth one with a, pa uh, uh, a time to leave of two we see that we didn't get any uh, reply for these three uh, packets and that we can confirm that by locking here and indeed we didn't get any uh, reply from the first router which is uh, my router here at my local area network but we did we did get a response from the second uh, router 
So how did we get this uh, IP address, this first, uh, uh, this second router? Well, it's here. So if I, I see the fourth packet with a time to leave of two, we see that we get a response from this IP address, which is the second router in the path. It has generated a time to leave exceeded message and send it to us. So thus, trace route, uh, trace route has uh, listed this as the second uh, router in the uh, uh, in the path, and so on. We see that there is uh, it has sent another uh, time to leave with uh, a value of two, and it gets uh, the same thing: a time to leave exceeded, and the. Uh, a third uh, packet, then the third uh, reply, and again the tenth uh, packet. We have a time to leave of three, and the third router on the path has responded to us, which is this uh, IP address. So let's confirm that in the list. And indeed, we have that IP address here, that router. So that router has responded to us with a time to leave exceeded. It has responded, uh, I think, uh, three times. There we go. It's the same IP address. So you get the idea. It's just uh, trace route. It just uses an ICMP uh, request with uh, an incremented uh, time uh, to leave. And uh, finally, it will uh, get a response from the Google server, which it did here with that, uh, a ping request. And here we get a uh, ping reply from the uh, Google uh, server and if we see which packet has get uh, a reply from the Google we see that it has a time to leave of uh, 16 okay let's test that using the ping uh, tool so if I ping if I ping Google and I use just for example with the option I a time to leave of uh, 15 I'm, I can't uh, uh, reach the server, so basically I will get just uh, expired in transit. So if I I increment 15 to 16, we see that we get a response from uh, Google servers, one of Google uh, servers. Okay. So there, there we go. Now what I want to do is show you how to trace route. Uh, the path uh, from uh, between you and the and the no matter what server on the internet using just the ping uh, tool. So what we do is first ping with a time to leave of one uh, a server. Let's say the same Google.com. And here we will not get uh, we will get a timeout uh, request, which means we have uh, the first server can't be determined determined, and that also what trace route has uh, got. So it has uh, put these these asterisks instead. So if I execute with a time to leave of two, we get the second uh, route a router on the path and there it is my second router okay we have got that so let's execute with three and here we get the uh, third router on the path okay so you get the idea if i execute with uh, four with a time to leave of four i get the uh, fifth or fourth, I don't know, <laughs> fifth uh, uh, router on the path. So you get the idea, it's very simple. Uh, trace routes doesn't do uh, magic, it just uses the, the ICMP protocol and the ICMP request and the ICMP reply and also the ICMP uh, time to leave exceeded. Okay, so I hope you understand now how trace, wor uh, trace route works. Thank you.